Hey guys, I am so thankful. The Lord is so amazing, guys. It doesn't matter if I'm having a problem or, or if, um, let's say, a little grain of sand metaphorically gets in my shoe when it starts irritating me. All I have to do is just like, Lord, this is bothering me. Please sprinkle my conscience with the blood. Please break down the walls of my pride. And and he is so wonderful that, I mean, just, I'm, there is an example of something that happened today where I had to go to the Lord because I knew in my flesh, I was reacting in a way that I knew was not appropriate. So I'm like, Lord, I know that this is wrong, but thank you for already having sprinkled my conscience with your blood. And thank you for the fact that you're going to break down the walls of my pride. And thank you for the fact that you're going to give me perspective on this situation. And he did. I mean, he showed me the real reason why I was actually upset. Um, and it just, it, it gave me so much peace because then I was able to let it go, to let go and let God. That is what it means on a, on a practical level. We're going to break it down and make it practical, right? That that is an, yet another example of going boldly to the throne room and just getting that conscience sprinkled with the blood of Jesus. Because the other things of this world, it doesn't matter. It's all crucified. It it And sometimes the Lord just has to remind us of what we already know. And that most of the time, the Lord just reminds me of what I already knew, but just he might sh remind me and, and help me to see it from a different way or from a different angle. And I am just so thankful, guys, to the Lord for what he is doing in my heart. And gosh, to think that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords knows me, I'm a nobody, right? Yet he he died for me. He died for my sins. And he he was buried and he rose again for my justification. If I were the only person who have ever existed on earth, he still would have come down to die just for me. And and rise and rose and rise again from the dead. Just for me. That's how personal the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ is for each person. I feel like I am his only audience and every individual who was saved can, can have that. And the fact that I'm able to get the attention of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, nothing else. And it's hidden. It's invisible. I understand that the world doesn't see it and that's okay. Because I, yeah, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. I'm not of the world. And sometimes I will suffer some disappointments with this, that, and the other. Or sometimes I'll look at something and I'll say, hmm, okay, that's an interesting observation. Um, you know, but I just go to God and I'm, I'm honest with God. I don't try to pretend that I am not having maybe a reaction, you know, or what I'm honest with him. That's also a practical way of entering boldly to the throne room. Be honest with God. Be honest about your deepest struggles and just give it to him. That's another practical way of what it looks like to rest in Christ. I pray this blesses y'all. All right, be, be blessed and Lord, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And please use this to encourage others. In Jesus' name, amen.